The greatest goal I've ever seen is... I would probably say always just because I, I played with him, the one he scored against uh, Phoenix or whatever they were at the time. I have to say probably like the, the hardest goal like, I've seen, like how, how did he do that was probably, uh, it was a long time ago when Ovechkin scored a, scored a goal on his, when he was gliding on his back and uh, he didn't even see the goal and he just turned somehow and, uh, and got it to the net and uh, scored. And dumped out. Now picked up by Ovechkin. Here he comes. Ovechkin trying to drag it through a oh! scored. Alexander Ovechkin, when it looked like it was no longer possible, <laughs> he still got it done. Holy jumping, you have got to be kidding me. You still see pictures. He's still, you know, signing pictures of that, that goal. And, um, you know, I, you see it on every highlight reel. Best goal I've witnessed would be, I think it was my second year, Crosby scored one-handed backhand. Full speed, a breakaway. Top goal. That was the coolest goal I've seen. Yeah. Sees part for Crosby to the goal. He scores! It was a one-hander, wasn't it? I think it was a one-hand wrist shot up in the air by the glove hand. Sidney Crosby, he's got it all! I saw Denny Savard score a goal. He beat everybody two or three times against the Oilers. They had a pretty good team at that point. Um, I, I was sitting back there watching him spin around people and spin around again. And uh, uh, it was a pretty impressive goal. Savard still has it around Tegan. Around low, she scores! What a goal by Dennis Savard! I think he pretty well beat everybody on the ice. Um, and uh, to do it against a, a, a team like that, Kind of makes it even more special. Well, you won't see any better stick handling than from any player. Here's Savard all the way, and it looks like the Oilers are trying to catch a rainbow because he's turning and now he gets through the defense, slides the puck. Watch this move right here. He allows one hand and he's able to slide the puck past Fjord. Flukiest, nicest, whatever you want to call it, was the goal I scored in Anaheim early on in my career where I, I shot it and I fell down and still whacked the puck out of the air. He's a veteran presence. It can add a lot. And here's Stamkos beat point blank, and the rebound batted in. But you're going to see it right here. It's oh, wow. actually Stamkos From as he's falling. What a play by Stamkos to tap that puck. Incredible eye hand coordination. I mean, this is just an amazing, amazing goal by Stamkos. That was, you know, one of those goals that was, you know, something we never thought at the time it was going to go in. Well, Gino's spinorama goal was pretty impressive. The young defenseman, case from behind his own net, comes with full speed up through center. And his pocket picked by Malkin. Malkin one on one against Fane. A wrapper, a turnaround, boom, and he scores! What a three and unbelievable play by Evgeny Malkin! And he gets a goal on a spinorama move to beat Nielsen. The Penguins make it two to one. One of the ones that stick out in my head is, we, I think it was the year we played the Winnipeg Jets in the playoffs, their first year. We had a guy named Emerson Edom. Made a pretty, he was one of my good buddies and he made a pretty good move. And I think there was a goal that kind of made the game winning goal to kind of win the series. First two now on a line together. What a move this is! In scores! What a brilliant goal for the Ducks! Sensational play from Emerson Edom! I knew he was a skilled player, but I didn't know he had that, and it was, it was pretty cool to watch. Stevie Eisman scoring the top shelf. I remember that one. I see that on TV. Greatest shot. Stevie stands out for some reason. Eisman moving. Blue line chance. Score! Steve Eisman! The I was lucky enough to see a lot of great goals. One of the most unique goals was in Edmonton. Edmonton had pulled the goalie, and Steve Eisman got the puck at center ice, and between him and an empty net was Kevin Lowe. He pulled it back, flipped it over Kevin Lowe into the open net. Delano will get there, gets it to Eisenman. He's got an open net. Got far with him. Look what he did. Look he what he did. Oh, oh. He flipped it over him. Oh. You believe that? And he has just found every way in the world to score a goal. <laughs> oh, my goodness. What else could he do? It was just kind of a fun goal. But I actually want to say the greatest goal I ever saw was when Wink, uh, when, uh, when Messier scored the game winner in Game 7 in New York to win the Stanley Cup. That was my favorite goal of all time.
Messier and Noonan for the power play. Zuboff and Leach. Noonan turns, puts it in front, missed by Graves. Noonan's backhand is saved, and they score! Messier! It's a power play goal! I also did see a lot of goals that uh, Bobby Orr scored uh, on TV and watching him. And Orr's got the puck. Cut through. Fires. Go! It's going to Great blast by Bobby Orr. Just that was a whole different level and changed the game for a lot of us defensemen that came in after that, but uh, he used to do things that nobody else was, was able to do. Behind the net, the Sanderson, Orr! Bobby Orr! A 22-year-old sensation, Orr! Um, watching Guy Lafleur, you know, come down the wing and, and be able to beat goalies, you don't see that as often anymore for a lot of different reasons. Uh, just the whole, his hair flying and all that helmetless coming down and, and picking a corner in off the post. You'd see that uh, uh, on a fairly regular occurrence. Lafleur coming out rather gingerly on the right side. He gives it into Lemaire, back to Lafleur. He scores! He beats Gilbert with a hard flat shot from the right side. Blowing on the far side, Gila Fleur sends his place into a frenzy again. The first NHL game, scored my first NHL goal. To Breen, loads up, shot, scores! Johnny Goudreau, his first National Hockey League goal in his first National Hockey League game. I left all my college roommates, uh, you know, a couple hours before that to go to Vancouver and, and playing for Calgary. and. The videos and Snapchats and you name it that I got after the game of all 25, 26 of my ex-teammates that I just ended up playing for, crammed into this little dorm watching this, watching my, my game on a little TV and um, the highlight, the replay of, of me scoring and, and them going crazy in the dorm was, uh, was pretty special. I'll, I'll probably say uh, Ebbs, Ebbs' goal, uh, the World Juniors, I'm gonna kick myself for saying that because uh, he, he likes to remind guys of that goal, but uh, you know, you're up there with one of the greatest hockey moments that, you know, in my memory at least. I mean, you know, that was kind of at the peak of the World Juniors when everyone cared the most, and you know, Canada, Russia, semifinals, and that goal it was, uh, was pretty special. The biggest goal would have been uh, for me, Max Talbot, when he scored those two goals in a game seven against Detroit, right? Just to He's it's so clutch and a good friend, right? And we're happy for him and um, for our team, right? We had a chance to, to win the Stanley Cup that night and we did and it's probably the best uh, best game I played.